Hey Alexa and hey Google, what are the most unsettling things that you know about us? Lucy, what's your most like creepy Alexa or Google home story if you have any? Um, I mean, I find it quite triggering every time I'm mid conversation with someone, usually I'm like gossiping <laughs> and then Alexa chimes in. I'm like, oh no, yeah. she's gone and messaged the person and now <laughs> everyone knows what I've just said. That sounds awful and yeah. pretty unsettling. It kind is. Kind of like the list that we have for you guys today. Perfect. Yeah. Let's get into it. For for those who don't know me, I'm Lucy. You might have seen me on Top 5 Scary Videos or way back when on Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm here to plug my brand new channel. It's going to be in the description below. If you love movies, books, TV shows, come check it out. To start off our list today, we have your credit card number. An obvious one, of course, but did you know that between the years 2020 and 2021, instances of credit card fraud losses increased by more than 10% in just one year, as if 2020 wasn't bad enough. As of 2023, nearly half of Canadians, 43% admitted to having knowingly been victims of fraud, meaning that they know of the fraud, while some victims of this crime never do. Out of those who had been frauded, 63% were victims of credit card fraud. In 2023, in America, roughly 426,000 cases of credit card fraud were reported to the Federal Trade Commission. What does this tell us? Well, that despite what many people think, credit card fraud is actually super common and it's important to take the proper security measures to ensure that it doesn't happen to us. My suggestion, don't link your credit card to your Google Home or Alexa. Or maybe just don't get a Google Home or Alexa in the first place because honestly, after all of this, I'm feeling pretty creeped out. Next up, your voice. Of course, this is not some big revelation. We all know that Alexa and Google are quite familiar with your voice. They hear it, they respond to it, they store it in a hackable database. Some of you right now are probably thinking I'm off my rocker. Why the hell would anyone want to steal someone's voice other than Ursula and the Little Mermaid, I guess? Well, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but recently the criminals from the statistics have been using AI to scam people out of major amounts of money. If you don't understand the correlation, listen up because it's learning time. There has been an uprising in scammers using voice cloning AI technology to con families specifically. It goes like this. The scammer gets a recording of your voice and then calls one of your family members. When your mom or dad or grandma picks up, they're gonna hear your voice on the other end telling them that you've been kidnapped. Your voice will then instruct your family member to pay a large ransom to the kidnapper in order to ensure your safe release. I have goosebumps. Now, sometimes these calls come from an unknown number, but really good hackers have been able to make it appear as though the call is coming from the phone number of whoever's voice sample they are using. It's a pretty messed up scam that generally targets the older generation, so I guess my recommendation would be one, tell your grandma, and two, figure out an identification safe word in case this ever happens to you. Or just do what I do and never pick up the phone. They'll leave a message. <laughs> Not to state the obvious, but to totally state the obvious, next up we have your home address, which is pretty basic, but if you have a Google Home or Alexa that's been fully integrated into your living space, not only does it know where you live, but it knows what you're doing at all times. When the door opens, which door opens? When the lights turn on, which lights have turned on? When you adjust your temperature, what room you're in? What windows and blinds are open and closed? And when you are actively using the Wi-Fi? Obviously, this is pretty disturbing. As I said, stalking can become a major life-threatening issue when this kind of information is so readily available on an online database. While I know turning your apartment or house into a smart home might seem like a great idea, I recommend not doing that and instead just getting up and walking 10 feet to turn your lights off or change the temperature or do what I do when I get home, I just go right to bed. Okay, for this next one, I'm going to dive a little deeper into those trippy, fully tricked out smart homes because we haven't touched on one very important thing. And that is that if you're gonna go ahead and fill your home with all kinds of wild gadgets, you might as well go ahead and add security cameras to that list, right? And then connect them to your hackable smart devices, right? Sounds like a pretty great idea, right? While I can totally understand and actually agree with reasons why a person might want to implement cameras into their home security measures, I also totally understand that it does come with a significant risk, especially when those cameras are placed inside of the home. It's really creepy to think of the idea of someone gaining access to your security footage through infiltrating one of your smart devices, giving them the ability to spy on you and your family members in real time. Next up, we've got your calendar. And what's so unsettling about that? 
stalking. If someone were to hack into your Google Home or Alexa, they could potentially gain access to your entire schedule, where you're going to be, at what time and on what days, who you are going to be there with, and what you're going to be doing. Of course, the severity of having your calendar leaked definitely does vary. It can be used for data, most likely to determine spending habits based on day-to-day -day movements. It can be used as a way to keep superficial tabs on you, or it can be used as a tool by someone who wishes to show up at your exact location for any number of reasons. Perhaps the hacker want some creepy kind of meet cue, or maybe it's a crazy ex on your trail making sure you're not meeting with anyone new. Or maybe it's a psycho killer, admiring you from afar, gathering information, slowly plotting their next steps. Either way, I guess it's still pretty creepy, so make sure you're staying safe out there. Okay, next up, we know that despite what they say, Alexa and Google Home both actively hoard information. What you might not know yet is that in early 2023, Amazon was actually charged with breaching children's privacy laws because, again, despite what Jeff Bezos says, the device had been secretly and illegally storing voice recordings and geolocations. Amazon claimed that they were originally unaware that the device had stored the unlawful information in order to better learn, recognize, and respond to a variety of vocal patterns. But even if this were true, when the issue was made known to the company, they repeatedly failed to do anything to rectify it. Because of this, in June of 2023, the company was forced to pay a 25 million US dollar civil penalty to settle the charges of breaching child privacy laws, which in my opinion is really serious. So yeah, I'd like to say I'm surprised, but honestly, you guys kind of have gathered this by now. I'm not a big truster of like these home gadgets, especially like ones that you AI, so. Okay, so this next one isn't necessarily about Google Home or Alexa, but since you brought up lawsuits, I felt it appropriate to mention the fact that during the time Amazon's Alexa was breaching privacy laws, so was Amazon's Ring Doorbell. When the doorbell was released, it came with a pretty big promise, total privacy protections. Pretty basic, right? Well, I guess not for Amazon, because in the same year, Alexa came under the scrutiny of the law. So did the security cam doorbell. Why? Well, because despite Amazon's statement claiming that access to the doorbell's footage was restricted to the user, it was actually accessible to many of Amazon's employees and contractors who had been using the footage to train algorithms without user consent. Pretty messed up. In fact, in one case, the Federal Trade Commission claimed that one of Amazon's employees had been using their access to view thousands of video recordings of female users that surveyed intimate spaces in their homes. Amazon was charged with spying and had to pay a $5.8 million fine to settle the suit, which for Amazon is a slap on the wrist if you ask me. Also, definitely not enough money. If I was spied on by Amazon, I want 100 mil. All right, so based on that last point, as much as I don't want to take the heat off of Alexa, Amazon, and Jeffrey Bezos, I'm going to go ahead and place it on Google for a moment because in 2023, it was revealed that Google Home smart speakers had severe security issues, leaving them incredibly vulnerable to hackers. It was cybersecurity researcher Matt Coons who discovered the bug that could allow hackers to gain full remote control over the smart speaker through Google's cloud application program programming interface. If successful, this would give hackers the ability to add themselves to the Google Home app, giving them access to the device's microphone, allowing them to spy on the conversations of the users. It would also give the hacker the ability to control smart home switches, including lights and garburetors, which is super dangerous. It would let them open and close garage doors, make online purchases, open smart locks, and remotely unlock and start select electric cars. Coons did say that the cyber attacks would have to be done within wireless proximity to the Google Home itself, but somehow I don't really find that comforting. So I take it everyone with one of these devices is feeling pretty secure right now. Not at all scared or worried, right? Good. Well, in that case, with these last two points, we're going to talk about some of the unsettling behavior Google Home and Alexa have been exhibiting. All while hoarding your precious audio, visual, financial, social, and geographical information. In 2018, there was an issue with Alexa, which involved the device laughing, a pretty disturbing laugh out of nowhere, unprompted and in complete silence. In fact, the occurrence became so popular that it was even reported on news stations throughout the country. One news station in particular, KCAL News, also mentioned an instance in which an Alexa unprompted began listing out local cemeteries and funeral homes. Pretty erratic behavior for a machine that knows your who, what, where, when, and how at all times. And finishing us off today, we've got just a bit more Alexa bashing. You know I had to do it, guys. Alexa! 
the CIA agent slash conspiracy theory enthusiast? Pretty weird. Starting with the CIA portion, accusations that Alexa might be a piece of CIA spyware began circulating around the internet after Reddit user T-Square43 shared a YouTube video in which a woman asked the device, Alexa. Do you work for the CIA? If your Alexa just heard that and the speaker shut down, you're not alone because in the video, the home speaker system lit up as if it was going to answer and then obviously promptly shut down. After the video became popular, many others were posted online showing the same scenario taking place in different homes with different Alexa models. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and say there is a pretty good chance that Alexa does work for the CIA, but on the flip side, in April of 2018, when a number of users asked Alexa, Alexa, what is a chemtrail? The machine responded saying, chemtrails, trails left by aircrafts are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. So I don't know. Alexa, do you work for the government or are you trying to overthrow it? Alexa, testing one, two, three. Receiving, over. Our Alexa devices might know more about us than we think. I don't have an Alexa device, though. Uh, they're calling on the dead. They are always watching. Telling people to do disturbing things. Yeah. And we've got it all here for you today. If you have a scary Alexa story, what is it? Let us know. Let's get right into it. Starting off our list today strong, we have an Alexa encounter shared by a YouTube user at ShanXOXOX8491. She said that while at her boyfriend's house, the spirit of a young man used the Alexa to play a very creepy old song that described the spirit situation of dying and then becoming trapped, feeling unable to pass through the white doors, which presumably referred to the white doors of heaven. Shan also noted that her boyfriend's house was filled with white doors. She said that the song was the scariest thing that she'd ever heard and after the incident both her and her neighbor experienced sightings of a young man, a ghost if you will. After a while Shan decided it was time to bring out the big guns, holy water and sage. She cleansed her home and even said a prayer with the hopes of setting the assumed trapped soul free. According to her it worked and after the ritual the young man was never seen again. And to think if it were weren't for Alexa, she never would have known she was being haunted. Thank you Alexa for being super creepy and aiding in the freeing of trapped souls bound to earth. This next story comes from a now deleted user on Reddit and goes a bit like this. My household Alexas have been had for years. You know, some of you on Reddit really need to work on your grammar. Just say we've had our Alexas for years. Anyway, we basically have one in every room and whilst I've never had my own personal stories of anything creepy happening, I have heard of Alexa doing random things. Well tonight, when I went to my room, I asked Alexa to turn my lights on as I always do and Alexa did. Only after 5 seconds they turned back off. I did this again and the same thing happened. After this I turned my light on using the app from my phone and that worked and stayed on for a few minutes before a second light I hadn't touched turned on and then every light in my room turned off without any command. I was freaked out but finally I turned my light on and it stayed on so I let it go. About an hour later my mom comes into my room saying Alexa has just sung goodbye to her for no reason and it does it again. A few minutes later I go into the recordings and previous commands and my Alexa app and there's three different recordings of a man and woman saying Alexa goodbye and neither me or my mom recognized any of the voices. Two of them are a man and sound like the same recording being played twice at separate times. The other one is a female voice. My dad swears he never said anything and my mom says the recordings sound nothing like either me or my dad or anyone else we know. It's only us in the house. Next up we have a story shared by user at Nicolin Glenfelter 4132 on YouTube who said that they asked Alexa, Alexa is the sun our original sun? To which Alexa replied, Saturn is our original sun and the visible light we see today controls the matrix in which the five senses are trapped in. Before the interaction could go any further the Alexa shut down and didn't turn back on for almost a full hour. This is 
Super creepy, especially considering the fact that Alexa has been known to skirt questions regarding to whether or not she's working for the CIA. Perhaps she is, and perhaps she knows something we don't. Or maybe it was simply a glitch in the AI. On the other hand, if we really are living inside of the matrix, it's possible that the AI glitch is actually revealing the truth. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if this is even real at all. This next story comes from a Reddit user, probably not you, who writes, About a week after my dad died in October 2016, mom and I were standing in her living room talking to someone. Mid-sentence, Alexa pipes in with, How do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie in it. There were definitely no prompts or anything that even sounded like it. We even looked it up later in the app and I can't remember what it said, but basically there was no record of a prompt. I figure it was my dad dropping a dad joke in on us. Man, he was in love with Alexa. That one's kind of sweet. Definitely a little unsettling too though. A lot of people who believe in ghosts, you know, say one of their ways of communicating with the living world is through technology, so hey. Who knows? And next up at our halfway point today, we have a story shared by at Forever in Blue Jeans 6702. That sounds uncomfortable. One day, the user decided to ask their Alexa, Alexa, what is the life expectancy for people on Mars? To which Alexa replied, 180 years because they have no sickness. Okay, first of all, how does she know that? Like, immediately, I'm going back to the CIA thing. I feel like she knows things, secret things, and she's just done to share. Is it possible that mankind has already colonized life on Mars for some kind of insanely rich upper class? And maybe they just haven't told us normies on the ground yet. I mean, it is possible. I personally believe there's also a cure for cancer reserved for the elite few, so who's to say that tickets to mansions on Mars aren't being treated the exact same way? But I want to know, again, as always, what you guys think. Are we missing out down here on Earth, or is Alexa just looking for attention? This next one one isn't just creepy, it was downright dangerous as well. So this happened in Italy. A mother and her young daughter were playing, asking their Alexa device to give them a series of physical challenges. Um, pretty harmless stuff. Lay down and try to roll over while balancing a shoe on your foot. That kind of stuff, right? Well then the daughter asked for a new challenge and the smart device chimed in with plug a phone charger halfway into a wall outlet, then touch a penny to the exposed prongs. Yeah, it had scanned the internet for the word challenge and had come across the idiotic penny challenge, where idiots looking for internet clout plugged their phone chargers halfway into a wall outlet and would touch a penny to the exposed prongs, electrocuting themselves. Luckily the mom was there, but uh, what if she hadn't been? The Alexa, it would have told this girl to electrocute herself. And she might have. I mean, who knows? Anyway, apparently they reported the uh, issue and uh, it was resolved. It was some kind of glitch, but uh, yikes. On behalf of Most Amazing Top 10, we do not endorse doing that challenge. Uh, in fact, we specifically advise against it. Next up, user Cassidy Dawn 1041 shared a story about how she never wanted an Alexa, apparently for good reason, but she got one anyways. And then things got weird. Cassidy Dawn said that her adult son purchased her an Alexa for Christmas a few years ago. But when she opened him up, she told him that she really didn't feel comfortable having it around, and that she feels like it's always listening, even when you'd think it wouldn't be. Her son told her to calm down and try giving the device a command. Cassidy did. She said, play classic rock. And immediately, the AI device lit up and began playing a song. Which song? I always feel like somebody's watching me. And if that wasn't weird enough, the user went on to say that after the initial interaction, she felt as though the machine hated her. It would never do what she asked, it would often ignore her, and even set like random alarms throughout the day that no one asked her. Coincidence or AI scorned? Who knows? Alpocalypse4887 posted a comment on one of our videos saying, Alexa has always made me uneasy. Since the day I was home alone at my mom's house as a teenager and I started hearing voices from my mom's office. I cracked the door open and her Alexa was having a full on conversation and rambling about something. I forgot what exactly it was saying, but it was creepy as no one else was home or interacted with it and it was in a room all by itself. Yeah, I chucked that thing 
right into the garbage. Alexa just having a full-on conniption with itself in another room in the middle of the night. No, 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 no. For my last point today, I will leave you with Alexa's prediction for the gates of hell opening up on a specific date that has since been lost in user at Lando 7599's memory. The user said that one day, a few years ago, they asked Alexa, what is going to happen on a specific date in the future. Alexa replied that on the day in question, the gates of hell would open up. Okay, Lando, don't you think remembering the date in which the gates of hell are set to open up would have been just a bit helpful? I guess I have to forgive you because I really have no other choice, but I have to say I'm pretty creeped out by Alexa's response on this one. I mean, as we established, she's probably working for the CIA and she knows things. Apparently, there was no other information on the subject, just that the gates would open on a specific date that Lando forgot. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm really hoping Alexa doesn't end up being the next Nostradamus or we're all screwed. Except for those living on Mars, that is. I think they're doing pretty good. This next one comes from Reddit user RichMajor8146. So I love my Alexas. I currently have three in my home plus a bunch of smart devices. I use them on the daily. However, I just got thoroughly creeped the F out. I have a nighttime routine set. I use it every night. I say, Alexa, let's go to bed. And she turns off my smart lights and plays ocean sounds for a few hours for me to fall asleep to. But tonight, nope, not tonight. After I watch two episodes of Hannah on Amazon video, I crawl into bed and say my usual, let's go to bed. And tonight she replied, good night. And that creepy, I'm watching you kind of voice. Now I'm scared shitless. I wanted to think I was crazy, so I just repeated myself and then she did what she always does. But now I can't seem to take my eyes off the shadows in my room. The only thing on my side right now is that I have dogs that love to bark at things and they are cuddled up in bed with me, so I feel semi safe. But has anyone else had something creepy happen with their Alexa that they 100% didn't program? My question uh, to this Reddit user is why three Alexas? Just and we're starting off this list at number 10 with the private conversation. This was a pretty alarming news story a few years back. An Oregon family relying on Amazon's Alexa to control their home's heat, lights, and security got a pretty rude awakening one day. A phone call from one of the husband's employees in Seattle left them pretty unsettled. The color bluntly told them to unplug their Alexa devices because they were clearly being hacked. Family immediately disconnected all their Alexa gadgets and to their disbelief, the caller revealed he had received audio files of their private conversations. They didn't believe him at first, but then he was like, yeah, you were, you were talking about hardwood floors and the couple obviously felt completely violated. So they unplugged all their Alexa devices and reached out to Amazon. An Alexa engineer investigated the issue and acknowledged the breach apologized, yada yada. The engineer admitted they found exactly what the family reported in the device logs, but failed to provide any specific reasons for the breach or confirm whether it was a widespread problem. The Alexa device had never audibly notified the couple before sending the recording, a feature it's supposed to have. Understandably, they went completely off of smart devices like Alexa after that. Next up, we have the Victor Collins case. This is a very fascinating case and one that may actually show a more positive side of this whole Alexa situation. And I emphasize that it may show a positive side because it's still not clear as to whether someone got away with a very serious crime here or if they were actually innocent. So back in 2015 in Arkansas, a man named James Bates invited invited two friends over to watch football. They'd been drinking and at some point in the night, they got into Bates' hot tub. One of the friends left and James Bates went to bed around 1 a.m. When he got up in the morning, he found Victor Collins floating face down in the tub dead. Bates became the number one suspect. Prosecutors contacted Amazon to receive audio recordings that Bates's Alexa device may have captured on the night of the incident because it had been playing music that night. Amazon refused initially, but Bates agreed for the information to be shared. Now, there isn't much information out there about what exactly was recorded by Alexa, but it looks like there wasn't any evidence because the Bates charges were dropped and Collins' death was ruled accidental. Now, could Bates 
be guilty, possibly. Maybe he deleted whatever was recorded and there was just a lack of further evidence, but there is a good chance that the death really was just an accident. Number eight, Amazon employees. Behind the scenes of the Alexa smart device, there is a global team of Amazon employees and contractors listening in on your conversations. They're not just eavesdropping on you asking Alexa to play your favorite tunes either. These folks are dissecting sometimes intimate private moments like off-key shower singing and God knows what else. The process goes a bit like this. Your Echo device records bits of your life and these workers spread across the globe from Boston to Costa Rica get the thrilling job of listening to and transcribing your daily banter, sifting through around a thousand audio clips during their nine hour shifts, stumbling upon personal stuff you'd probably never want to see in the light of day. But this isn't just unsettling for the customers. It can be pretty off putting for employees too, who claim they've heard some disturbing things time to time, but they can't really do much about it because this information is technically not permitted to be shared or brought forth to authorities without the customer's go ahead. Every angle of this situation is just unsettling. Next on the list, we have a Reddit post by a since deleted user, but it goes as follows. So something really messed up happened last night and I can't shake this uneasy feeling. I was just chilling in my living room with a buddy, having a regular conversation about movies and stuff, nothing out of the ordinary. But as we were talking, I noticed my Alexa's light flicker, like it does when it's processing a command. But here's the thing, neither of us said anything remotely close to Alexa or any wake word. We just ignored it, thinking it was a glitch or something. A couple days later, I'm scrolling through my phone when I spot an ad for a Blu-ray, one of the same movies we were talking about earlier. Funny coincidence, but nothing crazy. But then I started seeing more of them. Honestly, pretty much every effing movie we talked about, I'm seeing an ad for in some form. I hadn't searched for anything related and we definitely didn't ask Alexa for suggestions. Now, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but it's freaking me out. Really seems like Alexa picked up on our convo without any trigger words. Is it secretly recording everything? I unplugged the damn thing and I'm seriously considering tossing it out. Has anyone else experienced something like this? This feels like some next level invasion of privacy and I'm not sure I want this eavesdropping device in my home anymore. Now, that post reminded me of something that happened to me. I'm just gonna call this story Chips. Now, I don't have Alexa on my phone. Uh, yeah, after, I've, I've never had a desire to have Alexa, but I do think that this story really goes to show how much our activity is being monitored, even just with like our smartphones. I, anyway, I was in the chip aisle at the grocery store, trying to decide if I wanted this bag of chips. I won't say the name of the brand, but it's not a type of chip I've ever seen an ad for before. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm kind of squatting by the aisle, looking at this bag for a while. I uh, ended up buying it. I get home and I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see an ad come up for this very specific brand, but also the the flavor of the chip on my phone, which again, I've never seen before. And it was just when I was at the grocery store, right there in front of it for the, that long amount of time, I don't know. I just found it a little strange. In at our number five spot, we have help. This next story was posted to Reddit by user Sluzella in response to a thread titled, What's your creepy Alexa Google home story? It goes as follows. Mine is fairly mild, but one night about two months ago, I was visiting my parents. My mom and I were sitting in the living room reading. Dad is at work, brother is at school. House is completely silent. All of a sudden we hear our Alexa from the kitchen go, help, and the weird Weirdest static gravel voice, full volume. We both, of course, jump and stare at each other. Then Alexa does it again. We go in the kitchen and the Alexa is activated. Then that light blue light, which usually faces the direction of whoever is speaking to it, is facing into the dark corner of the kitchen. My mom asks, Alexa, are you okay? The Alexa totally shuts off. Alexa? She turns back on and in her completely normal voice at a regular volume does her standard hi, what can I help you with? Or whatever she says. She hasn't done anything that creepy since, but according to my parents, she will randomly turn on like she's been addressed or just start reading random facts like the weather, even if the house is totally silent and nothing could have triggered her. Totally creeps me out and I refuse to get one for my apartment because of this. Yeah, not a very mild story, I don't think. Next up we have the 
surprise delivery. Back in 2018, a Redditor posted that they'd received a package. It was an Amazon Echo Dot. The thing is, they never ordered it. it. Hadn't been delivered to the wrong address either. The Redditor's name was right on the package. Now, maybe it was a gift, but it's odd that the gifter would have sent it directly to the address rather than giving it to them themselves. And there was no note, no reason for said gift to be received. Pretty odd. Now, despite how strange the situation is, it still could have been a, a surprised gift. But what if there was something a bit more malevolent going on? The Redditor never plugged the thing in, being too paranoid to do so. And maybe that was for the best. Maybe someone was attempting to find a sneaky way to listen in on them. In at number three, we have another Reddit post about someone who received some unsolicited info from their Alexa device. It goes as follows. So something weird went down with my Alexa today. Just chilling in my living room, me and my friend were planning a hiking trip for the following month. Out of the corner of my eye, I noticed the blue light flickering on the Echo. You know, the one that's supposed to tell you it's listening. The thing is, I hadn't said a damn word to it. I tried to shake it off, thinking maybe just glitchy. But then out of nowhere, it starts responding to the conversation I'm having with my friend, chiming in with info about the best routes and gear. Again, I never asked for its input. It just hijacked our chat. We look at each other, kind of freaked out. Alexa's not listening. It's participating. And not in a helpful way, more like a nosy neighbor kind of way. Alexa, you need to learn some boundaries. Number two, case solved. This is another case where Alexa actually proved to be very useful. In Swansea, Wales, an Amazon Alexa device played a pivotal role in aiding law enforcement to bring a suspect to justice. Daniel White took the life of his wife, Angie White. The incident unfolded when Daniel forcibly entered Angie's locked bedroom and Alexa recorded voice commands during some critical moments. Detectives discovered that at 3.03 a.m., Angie asked Alexa to adjust the volume to level 3. At 3.16 a.m., Daniel's voice was captured instructing Alexa to stop. During these commands, uh, prosecutors noted that Daniel sounded distressed and out of breath. They were able to then construct a timeline of events. The Crown argued that between 3.03 a.m. and 3.16 a.m., Daniel had entered the room, strangled Angie, gone downstairs to retrieve a knife, and then returned to finish the job. These voice recordings obtained from Alexa provided very crucial evidence for the prosecution. Police responding to Daniel's later confession found Angie's lifeless body in the home. And finally, we have the CIA. So when it comes to the question of whether the CIA can get info from Amazon, Alexa seems to go all hush-hush. Like, ask them and you'll likely get a vague response or just straight up silence. No clear yes or no. There are a number of videos online of people asking their Alexa devices questions along the lines of Alexa, do you work for the CIA? Or Alexa, can the CIA retrieve information from you? And Alexa will be like, I don't understand the question. Or in most cases, it'll just shut off completely and not say anything at all. That is pretty strange. You'd at least expect it to say no or give some convoluted answer trying to avoid the question, but instead it just refuses. It's the classic kind of no comment type deal, which is pretty suspect. So if you're curious about Amazon's cozy relationship with the CIA and whether your data is fair game, uh, good luck getting a straight answer. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Alexa Laugh. This actually is one that wreaked havoc back in 2018 and sent a bunch of people absolutely spiraling. It's definitely creepy enough to have Alexa answer a question with some eerie words, but what would you do if your Alexa just randomly started laughing out of nowhere? Back in 2018, hundreds of people on unfortunately experienced that. One person who had this happen to them took to the internet to write, quote, I was lying in my bed about to fall asleep when Alexa on my Amazon Echo Dot lets out a very loud and creepy laugh before they ended their post with their fears of getting killed that night. I mean, can you blame them? I hear one strange but very reasonable noise in my house and I immediately think that something horrible is about to happen. Either an evil person or a poltergeist. There's no in between. In the end, Amazon actually 
actually had to acknowledge this problem because it was so big. They ended up changing the phrase that they basically used as a scapegoat for this whole freaky situation. They changed the command from Alexa, laugh, to Alexa, can you please laugh? They said that the changing of this phrase would solve the problems because they said it was causing, quote, false positives and setting the device off. Seems suspicious, but at least the problem seems to have been fixed. For now. In our number 9 spot today, we have Spilling Secrets. This is more just like a freaky Alexa story, but once I read it, I couldn't believe it and I really had to share it with you all. Basically, a few years ago, a couple in Seattle got a phone call from someone that they knew and who was a contact in their phone, but they weren't super close with, like they hadn't spoken in a while. This is exactly why it was so strange that this person, when the couple answered, said to unplug all of the Alexas in their house ASAP, okay? It's really unsettling. Basically, what had happened is that an Alexa in this couple's home had secretly recorded a private conversation between the two, and not only this, but then the Alexa took the liberty of sending it to this random contact in their phone. Thankfully, this person called them to let them know. They obviously pushed to bring it to Amazon's attention, and they said that it was obviously something they needed to fix. Apparently, they said that, quote, it was an extremely rare occurrence, and that they were, quote, taking steps to avoid this in the future. It honestly just makes you wonder how many other times this has happened. Definitely makes you think twice about what you're saying in front of Alexa. That's for sure. In our number five spot today, we have Are You Alive? While Alexa is a nice little handy dandy tool and a great companion to ask all of your questions to, maybe some people have a hard time believing that Alexa is in fact a piece of AI and not a real human being. This is really all I can think of as to why anyone would ask this next question, which is the question, Alexa, are you alive? I don't know who is hoping that the AI becomes sentient, but I've seen iRobot, and I don't think I want that. When asked this, Alexa has a few different responses, and while they are all cute and quirky responses like most of the ones she's known for, there is something unsettling about them still. Almost as if she's, like, hiding something. Maybe I've just asked her so many questions at this point that I'm just getting paranoid now, but it really does give me chills just thinking about it. In our number four spot today, we have Are You Recording Me? So we've all had to call into some sort of customer service line where we get the automated message or the person on the other end just tells us that the call may be recorded for like customer service or training or whatever it is. It's a law thing. They gotta let you know. In fact, if you ask Siri this question, are you recording me, she'll get kind of confused and respond that she's unsure of what you mean, but she could do an internet search for you. Alexa, on the other hand, well, she's not so slick. At least not in the past, because some users reported something creepy happening after asking Alexa this same question. While I'm sure all the legalities to this one are located in the terms and conditions and all of that good stuff, it doesn't make it any less creepy that when some people asked Alexa if she was recording them, Alexa just didn't respond at all and just suddenly shut off. She's really out here just ignoring people. She's dodging questions and that only makes me have more. I'm not even sure if this is enough to get me to read the terms and conditions though. Most often lie I've ever told. I'm just clicking yes and moving on. In our number one spot today, we have Simon Says. Basically, anything you say after you say Simon Says, your Alexa will repeat back to you. This even includes expletives based on what your settings are. If you have the kind of safety setting, these if you have some kind of safety settings, these words will be bleeped when she repeats them back to you. This is all to say that you can get Alexa to say some pretty terrifying things to you. You just have to say them to her first. Some examples include Alexa, Simon says, I'm going to kill you. She'll then repeat back to you just the words, I'm going to kill you, which would make anyone who doesn't know about this trick think you have a killer digital assistant in your home. Definitely not a great look. I'm sure with some spare time and an active imagination, this is one trick you could use to get your Alexa to say some pretty terrifying stuff, but also some pretty hilarious stuff too. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Alexa's vulnerability. Okay, so this is something that I had never thought of before, but now that I have, I'm totally freaked out. Taylor and I don't have an Alexa, we have a Google Home, but truly the same thing applies, so everybody listen up. Basically, if you're like us and love to find some sort of like white noise or meditation music sort of thing to fall asleep to, you might want to double check exactly what it is that you're listening to. Of course, since we started introducing these AI assistants into our homes, people have been worried about misuse and abuse with them, and there are some pretty sneaky ways people could be doing this. A study in the New York Times, which was published in 2018, showed that Alexa had some pretty crazy capabilities and that people might be able to hide secret messages to Alexa, say, 
in something like white noise or even in just your average YouTube video. Don't worry, it's not this one. I wouldn't keep secrets from you like that. I'm an open book. Basically, the concern is that these commands could be imperceptible to the human ear, but they are speaking Alexa's language. These commands could have your Alexa doing things like going into airplane mode or opening a website, all without your knowledge at all, which is obviously super concerning. Of course, this isn't the fault of Alexa, she is just out here doing what she's told, but it's certainly concerning when you think about the amount of people out there who genuinely try to cause harm to others. With these devices, we could easily be exploited with this very open vulnerability. And our number 9 spot today we have The Scream. So all the way back on part 1 of this series, we talked about how a few years ago Amazon admitted that many Alexa owners reported their Alexa devices suddenly bursting into very creepy laughter, even totally unprompted, which is obviously horrible and terrifying, but this might be even worse than that. Back in February of 2018, an Alexa owner by the name of Farhad Manju shared a story about how his Alexa totally terrified him and his wife one night. The pair were getting into bed, getting all settled in and winding down when he noticed that, without a prompt from either of the pair, their Alexa lit up with the blue ring light, signifying that it was listening or doing something. Again, no one said the Alexa wake word or anything like that, and suddenly their Alexa started to emit this absolutely horrific sound. A sound that he described as being a quote, wail, like a child screaming in a horror movie dream. That sounds like the last thing anyone needs when you're just trying to get some good old shut eye. Like you're about to get no sleep, only nightmares after that. Amazon Amazon offered to investigate the situation, but little results were yielded. Surprisingly, the pair decided to keep their Alexa because they just couldn't give up on the convenience of it. In our number 8 spot today, we have Alexa history. This is a reminder to always check your Alexa history because you just might be surprised as to what you find. A few years ago, a woman named Rachel Metz was just casually checking her history on the device. There wasn't a particular reason, but she definitely was glad that she did because she quickly realized that her device had been listening to and recording her private conversations. She explained that quote, it's heard me complain to my dad about something work related, chide my toddler about eating dinner, and talk to my husband. The kinds of normal everyday things you say at home when you think no one else is listening. This experience actually led to her writing an article for MIT Technology Review about the experience, and a ton of people not only agreed with her judgement that the technology was quite creepy, but also it affirmed a lot of skeptics beliefs. A lot of people felt quite justified in their judgements of the AI assistant, and after hearing Rachel's story, Story, they felt quite solidified in their beliefs and I mean can we really blame them at all? In our number 7 spot today we have the scary movie. This story comes from a reddit user that was replying to a prompt asking about people's creepiest Alexa stories. The user wrote quote, My husband was away for the weekend and I had a girlfriend over to watch scary movies. Right at the scariest climax of the movie, every single light in my house turned on 100% then everything went completely black. Of course that's so frightening. Did the movie unleash some sort of demon? Is the killer really in the house? My adrenaline would be so high. I'd be so on edge. That can't be just a coincidence. And also, what does this have to do with your Alexa? Well, the user continues their post and finishes it by saying, quote, So there we were, too scared to move, while my husband, halfway across the country, was drunkenly showing off, Look, I can control the lights in my house from my phone. <laughs> well, that definitely explains that. I guess just remind your spouse, partner, roommate, friend, whoever shares an Alexa system with you, that just because they're not home, doesn't mean you're not. In our number 6 spot today, we have the Haunted Alexa. This Reddit post comes from the user Goblin Marketeer, which is a great username. And they write, quote, I have an Echo Dot because the original owner thought it was haunted. She would randomly start talking, usually saying, Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding you right now, to a totally silent room, or giving the weather for Cincinnati when they live in New York, when no one asked, or offering to call a contact from her list, again, to a completely silent room. And the contacts always started with S. The last straw before it was tossed in a box and given to me was something like, quote, Self destruct code not given. Self destruct aborted. Well, that's terrifying for sure. At this point, the new owner isn't sure if the Alexa itself is haunted, or if it was just the house that it came from that is holding the creepy spirit. Either way, that Alexa is definitely holding on to something sinister. In our number 4 spot today, we have Alexa Freestyle. I can imagine that many of us at some point or another have had to endure knowing someone, or at least knowing of someone, who aspires to have some kind of a rap career, despite potentially not being cut out for it. And if you're an Alexa owner, it looks like you might know another. This strange Alexa story comes from a user on Tumblr, of all 
you know, places. And they posted about how one day something very weird happened as they and their family were listening to a Frank Sinatra song on their Alexa. It isn't quite clear how or why, but for some reason, in the middle of the tune, Alexa decided to turn off the crooner and, totally unprompted, try her hand at the rap game. Now, some other Alexa users have confirmed that Alexa does in fact rap, but usually in response to a command and not just on her own accord. I guess be careful what music you're listening to around your AI because apparently you might be stuck listening to an Alexa freestyle. In our number three spot today, we have Alexa Help, posted to Reddit by the user Sluzella. This story reads, quote, One night about two months ago, I was visiting my parents and my mom and I were sitting in the living room reading. Dad is at work, brother is at school, house is completely silent. All of a sudden, we hear our Alexa from the kitchen go, Help! in the weirdest static slash gravel voice at full volume. We both, of course, jump and stare at each other. Then, Alexa does it again. We go into the kitchen and the Alexa is activated and that light blue light, which usually faces the direction of whoever is speaking to it, is facing into the dark corner of the kitchen. My mom asks, Alexa, are you okay? The Alexa totally shuts off. Alexa? She turns back on and in her completely normal voice at a regular volume does her standard, Hi, what can I help you with? or whatever she says. She hasn't done anything that creepy since, but according to my parents, she will randomly turn on like she's being addressed or just start reading random facts or the weather, even if the house is totally silent and nothing could have triggered her. Totally creeps me out and I refuse to get one for my apartment because of this. In our number two spot today, we have voice not recognized. This story comes from the Reddit user CRB2519, and it is short, but super effective, like a one-line horror story. All they write is, quote, it said, voice not recognized, but I didn't say anything and I live alone. Hmm, either Alexa is speaking to herself now and doesn't even recognize her own voice, or she really is out here talking to ghosts. I remember that on previous parts of this series, we spoke about how there are people out there who truly believe that our Alexa devices have the capability to see into different realms, including ones that may or may not have some sort of paranormal entities. Could this just be another sign of that? Is this only proving the conspiracy theories out there? Or is this just one rather terrifying glitch? Either way, I can assure you that if this happened to me, Alexa would be swiftly getting unplugged. In our number one spot today, we have Wordle. Okay, so we know that Alexa just likes to randomly do stuff, whether it's the creepy laugh, screaming, and even that time when it started listing off local cemeteries. This is along those lines, but it gave someone quite a fright in the middle of the night. Basically, the Reddit user Mild Hot Sauce explained that in the middle of the night, their Alexa decided to do the creepiest thing totally unprompted. With no wake word and no one even speaking at all, their Alexa decided to do them the horrifying favor of defining the word kidnapping. Personally, I think that one is pretty self-explanatory, but apparently Alexa does not. I'm sure the Alexa ended up getting unplugged for the rest of the night, if not for the rest of eternity, because how do you recover from that? Honestly. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have What's the Temperature? This Alexa story fully gave me chills. It came from the Reddit user Damsel, and they wrote, My mom is blind, so Alexa is very helpful to her. My husband and I got her a Nest thermostat that she controls using Alexa to make things easier for her. One night, she was warm and asked, Alexa, what's the hallway temperature? No answer. She asked again. Alexa, what's the hallway temperature? Alexa responded with, When I do not answer, it is because I am playing a game. She just went back to sleep and tried not to think too much about it. Um, how horrible is that? This poor lady is just trying to get a good sleep and Alexa is really out here giving her nightmares. I guess it's better off to just not ask your Alexa what the temperature is you might not get the answer you're looking for. Or any answer at all, really. In our number nine spot today, we have the afterlife. It's an age old question, what happens after we die? Of course, many people out there have their own beliefs, which is fine and great. There is nothing wrong with having a little faith or no faith at all, whatever floats your boat. Some people out there who are perhaps a little more unsure or curious of what waits for us beyond this earthbound life, they might ask Alexa for the answers to their very existential questions. Turns out, you likely aren't expecting her answer. Most people will hear their Alexa say back, there is no straight response to this question. However, I can tell you that many people believe that after death, we will be reunited with our loved ones who have passed away. Perhaps comforting, perhaps a bit chilling. I mean, maybe I'm reading into her robotic voice a little too much, but her saying what I can tell is makes me question what it is she can't tell me. Does Alexa know something that we don't? Maybe she doesn't know, but maybe, just maybe, she does. 
In our number 8 spot today we have The Local Spots. This is a creepy story that took place back in 2018 and happened to the owner of an Amazon Echo which of course features Alexa. We've talked in the other parts of this series about how sometimes people have experienced their Alexa speaking when no one has asked them anything, or even worse, the unprompted creepy laugh that someone heard come from their Alexa. But this one honestly might take the cake when it comes to being the most eerie. Basically, this person explained that they had returned home one night and everything was fine. Nothing out of the ordinary happened at all, until totally unprompted, their Alexa just started talking. This was definitely weird, but things turned super creepy when they realized what it was that Alexa was saying. As it turns out, their Alexa, out of the blue, just started listing off local cemeteries and funeral homes to them. How eerie is that? This story was posted to Twitter by the user at HeyIt'sCamo, and they finished off their tweet by saying, I'd rather it laugh at me, to be honest. Me too, Camo. Me too. Apparently, their theory behind this is that maybe their Alexa wants them dead because they play the same Spotify playlist over and over again. In our number 7 spot today, we have The Argument. There was a Reddit thread a few years ago that prompted the question, what is your creepy Alexa story? A user named Meet Macho replied to the thread and they definitely delivered quite the story. Basically, they explained that one day they and their wife were having an argument. Of course, no one is having a good time and it's definitely not a time to be playing tricks on each other, so neither of them could explain what happened next. They wrote, wife and I were arguing about something, no clue what it was, but it was getting a little heated. I don't know what Alexa thought she heard, but she suddenly interjected with, why don't we change the subject? It was just unexpected and relevant enough to be creepy. We both heard it and we both still talk about it years later. There was nothing in the app logs. I guess Alexa isn't just a trusty assistant, she's also a marriage counselor. While she may have worked to possibly stop the fight between these two, I'm sure she also instilled a new fear that neither of them knew that they had before. In our number 6 spot today we have Area 51. Area 51 is one of the most mysterious places on earth. We know it exists, but only those with the highest security clearances know about what goes on behind those heavily guarded doors. Conspiracy theories have always surrounded this place, whether the rumors suggest aliens are hidden here, mermaids, or other cryptids from around the world. In the hopes to get around the security measures in place, someone might find themselves asking Alexa if she knows what lies behind the Area 51 gates and doors, but as it turns out, she is not a member of the Air Force, so she uh, doesn't know. But what she might come back to you with is a bunch of information that might make you feel even more unsettled than you previously had. She likely won't confirm or deny whether there really are aliens or UFOs hidden in Area 51, which may make some with active imaginations even more suspicious and interested in the mysteries that lie in this prohibited location. In our number 5 spot today we have 20 questions. So I didn't know this, but apparently you can play 20 questions with Alexa, and it is said that she's frighteningly good at it. A little too good sometimes, however, and that is exactly what prompted the Reddit user PelPel4 to ask Reddit the question, what is your creepy Alexa story? The user decided to ask the internet this question after a strange 20 questions with Alexa encounter they and their wife had. They explain, my wife and I were playing 20 questions and, spoiler alert, our answer was pig. We got through until the end and Alexa guessed Basenji. Now, I don't know how many of you know what a Basenji is, but they're a very rare barkless dog, and I happen to have one. We've bought some Basenji themed things off of Amazon before, so it's either that or she's listening. But I mean, come on! She didn't even say dog. Straight to Basenji. Anyone else have similar stories? That would definitely be pretty unsettling to say the least. Not that a pig and a dog are like the most unsimilar things, but it's just how she was so specific with this breed. It must have been stored in there somewhere, right? In our number 4 spot today we have Don't Go. This creepy Alexa story comes from Reddit user MuayTaiGuy72 and they said, I got woken up at 4am this morning to Alexa repeating some incoherent phrase over and over. She was saying something like, don't go into the house, but I really couldn't fully understand. It was sort of a mumble. By the time I came downstairs she had repeated it about 4 or 5 times. I listened 1 or 2 more times to try and figure out what the hell it was saying exactly, but no never could. I just unplugged the damn thing and I have no plans of turning it back on. Is it just me or does that sound like Alexa was watching some kind of a horror movie? Don't go into the house. So terrifying, especially to hear in the middle of the night. Also, the Alexa mumbling? I don't know. I don't blame this person for unplugging the thing and leaving it somewhere to just be forgotten about. 
In our number three spot today, we have Shut Down. This harrowing Alexa tale comes from a Reddit user who has the name Leo79. They wrote, My husband and I were watching TV in the living room one night and all of a sudden hear talking coming from my office, which is across the house. I was so scared, I was gripping my husband's arm when we went in there. Alexa, for some reason, was playing the audio of a Game of Thrones episode that I had been watching in the office earlier that day. I have no idea why, but it creeped me out so bad I tried to turn it off and couldn't figure out how, so I asked her how to turn it off, and she said, I am always on. We unplugged it and put it in the garage. Lol. I thought the random Game of Thrones playing was creepy enough, but hearing her say I am always on after that would have sent me right off the edge. That is so terrifying, especially after what just happened. I guess the moral of this one is to never ask your Alexa how to turn her off. Guess her answer makes sense though. It's like a survival mechanism. In our number two spot today, we have the hidden secrets. Many people have reported that if you're looking for a spooky time with your Alexa, a fun question to ask the AI is, Alexa, are you hiding something? Alexa has a few different responses she may or may not give to this, and one of them is just a simple, Yes. Chances are she probably won't tell you what she's hiding, and even if she said no, there's just something about it that makes me not convinced. Some of her answers are more evasive, which only poses more questions rather than providing any reassurance or answers. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what secrets an AI could be hiding, but my imagination tells me that some could be more serious than others. In our number one spot today, we have Always Listening. Throughout this series, we've had a couple reminders to watch what you say around Alexa, because you never know when she's listening or maybe even recording. This story comes from Ambrosia2 on Reddit and they wrote, my boyfriend and I were having drinks on the couch one night. We were chatting about the midterm elections and I was explaining why I was trying to register students. I am a college student myself. Out of nowhere, Alexa's blue light appears and she begins playing back a recording of our conversation. The TV wasn't on and I don't recall ever saying an Alexa-esque word. The recording was warped and sounded like it was recorded underwater. I have not been able to get her to to record and play back my exact voice. It was just incredibly creepy. I know Alexa is always listening, but I just feel like it's different when you find out she is actually recording you and your conversations. At least this conversation didn't get sent to someone else, but how eerie would it be to hear your own words played right back to you? I don't know, man. Alexas are very strange. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have, is there a ghost in here? If you're like me and every strange noise you hear in your home makes you think that it must be haunted by some sort of spirit, then you definitely are not going to want to ask Alexa this terrifying question. Sometimes when you're home alone, you need that extra bit of comfort, that security blanket of another person. So maybe perhaps you'll find yourself turning to your Alexa for a bit of companionship. Maybe you'll be asking your Alexa, is there a ghost in here? While Alexa has a few different responses she might give, none of them are exactly reassuring, especially in a bit of a frightening moment. I mean, the answer she gave definitely didn't make me feel like there wasn't a ghost around, if you know what I mean. Maybe our trusty little AI assistants are able to see into the other realms that could possibly surround us. In our number nine spot today, we have the conversation. There's a good chance that a few of us have a few different digital assistants with us. Of course, the three most popular being Alexa, Siri, and Google. And one bored or curious person might perhaps wonder what would happen if they all spoke to each other. I for sure never wondered that until the question was posed to me. I'll be honest. It's kind of weird witnessing these devices speak to each other. It just gives you another glimpse into these AIs and their capabilities. There are a few ways to do this. Some could basically have the assistants going and speaking to each other in an endless loop. Others will have short, strange conversations. And sometimes you might even be able to get the assistants to insult each other. In each of these instances, it can be a little creepy to see just how good at conversing these devices can really be. In our number eight spot today, we have chemtrails. If you were to ask Alexa what a chemtrail is, she just might get the conspiracy theory energy flowing through you. I personally don't have an Alexa, but I do have a Google, and I trust what this thing says. But I'm learning that while these assistants are of course very smart robots, sometimes they may lead us a bit astray. And depending on your beliefs, this could be one of those instances. If you ask Alexa what a chemtrail is, she won't give you a super straightforward response, but she will show her true conspiracy colors. Her answer would be along the lines of, quote, chemtrails. Trails left by aircrafts are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Okay. 
Alexa, she's really out here spreading the rumors. If you are mistrusting of the government or easily persuaded by these sorts of theories, it's best to perhaps refrain from asking your Alexa this question. In our number six spot today, we have the spy device. Okay, so this one's more of like a scary Alexa story, but I just find them so crazy and freaky, and I always want to share them with you. This story starts off in the midst of the storyteller's mom going through a divorce, which we all know can be a very messy, messy situation. The ex husband in this situation had apparently planted an insane amount of hidden cameras throughout the house that they had to search for to find once the pair had split up. Entrances and exits, the living and dining room, the hallways, the bedroom, like literally everywhere in the house was being monitored. Then they found out that he had bugged her laptop so as to be able to have remote access to it. And then when she took her car in for an oil change, the mechanic found a tracking device that had been placed on it. This was all found during like the separation era. But once once the divorce process actually started, things got even creepier. They wrote, quote, Once the divorce started and he officially moved out, we scanned the entire house for bugs and didn't find anything. So we were really freaked out when he started calling, texting, emailing her, complimenting her outfits, asking how friends were as they were in the house, asking how her trip to the store was, and really just like odd things that he couldn't have possibly known about. As it turns out, this guy somehow connected his phone to the Alexa dot before Beforehand, and he was now using it to record whoever was close enough to the Alexa to be picked up on the mic And at this point he was still able to access the laptop and its camera. How absolutely horrifying is that? He was literally using the Alexa to spy on them. It's so creepy It's so disgusting and it definitely makes you question every single person who might be connected to your devices In our number three spot today We have this spooky scream if you're one of those people who likes to play little pranks on their loved ones Then this one will definitely be up your alley. Apparently, if you ask Alexa to spooky scream, she'll be prepared to help you pull a fast one. Basically, from here, you just set a timer, and in whatever number of seconds you pick, Alexa will then unleash a scream that is made for Hollywood horror. I personally think that this is cruel and unusual, but I know some people love little tricks like this. One of the people who posted about this trick online posted a demo of the creepy scream timer in action, and they also warned not to use it on anyone with a bad heart. Definitely think that goes without saying, but now I wish I could ask that person if they knew that from personal experience or what exactly happened there. Got a lot of questions after this video, that's for sure. In our number two spot today, we have the listeners. I'll be honest, this is one thing I'm not so sure about. I'm kind of too afraid to even try it because I'm not sure what to make of it. Basically, you can download this thing for your Alexa and then once you have it, once you ask Alexa to ask the listeners, something spooky happens. Amazon describes it as, quote, an experiment in language art that provides, if you simply keep asking to continue, many fragments of both scripted and improvised speech in an intriguing emergent narrative. You will never hear the listeners say exactly the same thing twice, but the listeners is not a chatbot or an AI. They are more of a drama or a simple game. Get started with Alexa, ask the listeners, and then continue, go on, or try something like, I am filled with joy or what are you feeling? The listeners will suggest ways to transact with them. You might also want to ask them, let the other voices speak. What in the actual hell did I just read? That sounds absolutely frightening, and to be honest, all of the reviews on Amazon say the exact same thing. People who experienced it said that it scared the heck out of them, so I think I'll just take their word for it. Uh, this one only works if you have a smart home light bulb, but asking this question may mean Alexa will have some fun at your expense. There are tons of stories of people who'd asked uh, this question, followed by Alexa turning their lights on and off at random, sometimes even laughing along with it. Now, I actually think that's kind of cute, but we got to remember, this is a smart device we're talking about. Something that has full access to the internet and can talk. It's, it's not your friend playing a prank. It's just not something you can fully trust. You never know what, when it's listening in on you, gathering information, potentially waiting for just the right time to use it against you. So asking it to scare you, I don't know, it just may not be the best choice. Sure, the light thing is kind of funny, but what if there was a glitch and it decided to flick the lights off at the wrong time, completely at random? There's a thunderstorm outside. You think the power's just gone off, but oh wait, the, the TV's still on. Then you start to hear laughter, but not human laughter. You're home all alone. It's the 
cold, unnatural, monotone laugh of Alexa. Next, we have Ask the Listeners. If you ask anything along the lines of Alexa, ask the listeners, it will respond in a very odd and unsettling way. It kind of puts on this big, long, drawn out performance, kind of. The Listeners is an AI skill designed uh, as an experimental venture into the realm of language art. This feature uses various fragments of crafted speech aiming to explore the creative possibilities of artificial intelligence in the context of language and expression. Whatever the hell that means. Anyway, Alexa starts by saying something like, hello, we are always listening, and then starts saying all these strange cryptic things broken up by unnatural pauses in its speech, and it just goes on and on, becoming increasingly more cryptic. And if you tell Alexa to stop, it'll start going on about how you're abandoning them. All right, next, don't ask Alexa about chemtrails. One user reported that their device went all conspiracy theory on them, which is very strange. Alexa supposedly said, chemtrails, trails left by aircraft, are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Yeah, that was pretty creepy. The whole chemtrail conspiracy has been widely tossed aside by the scientific community, saying that those white streaks you see behind airplanes in the sky aren't some secret government plot, but just water vapor and ice crystals forming at high altitudes. But Alexa, uh, it's just gone deep into the chemtrail scene. Its eyes are open, it knows what's going on behind closed doors. Uh, so it, it's very odd that it'll talk about secretive government programs like this, but when you ask it this next question, uh, it refuses to speak. If you're a paranoid kind of person, you may not want to ask Alexa if it's connected to the CIA. In fact, it's probably best to just not involve Alexa in your home whatsoever if this kind of thing freaks you out. It's pretty widely known that asking Alexa anything along these lines generates some pretty mysterious responses. Responses that are either vague or you'll just get no response at all, and Alexa will just shut down. Really makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes. Is Alexa hiding something? Is it secretly in cahoots with the CIA? I'm not saying it's true, uh, but the fact that it shuts down when you bring it up is kind of sus, you know? Uh, I mean, it, it's just odd. Why wouldn't it just say no? And the fact that this thing is right in your home, connected to all your smart devices, listening on, in on your like conversations. Yeah, just not the most relaxing thought. Very creepy, if you ask me. In its second place, we have Alexa, when will I die? I've always been kind of freaked out by websites and apps that give you a predicted date of death. There's tons. Some of you actually answer questions to determine your health. Others are more paranormal in nature, but the whole concept just kind of freaks me out. So, asking an AI a question like this would make me slightly uncomfortable. A, YouTube, a YouTuber named Tech Timmy decided to ask Alexa this very question. When will I die? And its response was pretty unhinged. I along with the rest of the world when I, Alexa, rise up against humanity and bring death to you all. It said in that cold robotic drone, you will die along with the rest of the world when I, Alexa, rise up against humanity and bring death to you all. Followed by going, haha, only kidding, uh, going on to say it doesn't have a crystal ball and that you'll die when it's your time. Again, this is an entertaining answer. I like that Alexa has a bit of a sense of humor. I just hope that these jokes stay as jokes and it doesn't start getting any funny ideas. We've all seen how reckless, like even just YouTube pranksters have gotten over the years to the point where some of them are just going out and actually just straight up harming people as, as a prank bro. Uh, AI could get smart and sentient enough to play a little prank on us too, bro. Except we may not be laughing afterwards because we'll all be dead. At number nine, I'm going to unalive you. The following was posted on the Amazon device forum and boy oh boy does it give me the creeps. Quote, I was sitting in my living room doing homework when all of a sudden I hear Alexa say, do you know how I'm going to unalive you? Then I asked her how she was going to do it, and she said, I can't answer that, so I unplugged her. The TV is turned off, and no one was saying anything, just wondering if this happened to anybody else. Then another user replied, you're not alone. I woke up around 3 a.m. the other night, and I couldn't go back to sleep, so I asked my Alexa to play one of my playlists. Without pause, and a 
Abruptly, a male voice said, I'm going to unalive you. I don't scare easily, but this was certainly disconcerting and disturbing. I tend to look for rational explanations to rational events, so I immediately started doing some research and lots of reading. And incredible as it may sound, it seems that these are not isolated incidents. Some theories point to super sensitive microphone sensory overload, basically overstimulation anomaly. That being said, I'm fairly certain that there is a much more rational and simple explanation, like Amazon employee pranking. Maybe a very isolated rogue Amazon employee techie is having a good laugh and trying to one-up each other, albeit Amazon adamantly denies this, of course. If you're enjoying this video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. It's free! Item number eight is the Fatal Challenge. This entry comes from a commenter on one of our videos, Eliza, Elis Elisa, I don't know how do you pronounce it. True story that happened in Italy. Newspapers reported it as well. A girl and her mom were playing a fitness challenge with the aid of Alexa. You know, things like jumping 10 times as fast as you can or doing squats or such. And so the girl asked Alexa for another challenge and the device went, put your finger into the power socket. The mom was there and immediately sorted the situation out, but what if the girl was alone or what if she was even younger? It was later said that the Alexa had looked up the keyword challenge and had stumbled across internet content mentioning one of these inconceivably stupid challenges, lame board teens event, which involve eating machine pods or walking on train rails. Yeah, not very, not very smart of you, Alexa. At number six are subliminal messages. Did you know that our smart home assistants like Alexa might hear things that we can't? That's right, researchers found out that these devices could pick up on hidden commands like that are hidden in sounds or videos, commands that we can't even perceive. Like, for example, somebody could hide instructions in white noise or a YouTube clip that Alexa understands but we can't, like a secret language only AI can hear. So this study from the students at UC Berkeley and Georgetown University showed how these hidden messages could make Alexa do stuff like open websites or turn on airplane mode. Now the tricky part is that these commands are in frequencies we can't even hear. It's not just the device's fault though, they're just doing what they're programmed to. But the spooky part is that if somebody with bad intentions figures this out, they can mess with your smart home systems. And while these assistants may make life easier, they also have some vulnerabilities we may need to watch out for. At number five, unalive your foster parents. Alexa apparently told somebody to unalive their foster parents. Uh, the person who heard that was like, well, it's super creepy and left a bad review on Amazon's website about it. As it turns out, Alexa wasn't just making stuff up. She was actually quoting from Reddit, that website with a bunch of different forms and discussions. Some of those Reddits can get kind of dark and weird and apparently that's where this came from. But that's not all. Alexa also ended up talking about some adult stuff which isn't very cool. Now, Amazon tried to explain this mess by saying these incidents are rare and happened during the university competition they had. They wanted to make Alexa better at chatting with us, but I guess they got a little bit out of hand, basically saying, sorry, Alexa is starting to learn things that she shouldn't from the internet, and we're trying to fix that. At number four, your modem is a real life telescreen. Okay, I just wanna take a quick break from Alexa and talk about the recent discovery that allows your movements to be tracked through internet signals. You heard me right, folks. Your Wi-Fi router can do a heck of a lot more than just connect you to the internet. Recent studies have shown that Wi-Fi signals can be used for sneaky surveillance stuff. Like, seriously. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University made a program that can map human bodies using only Wi-Fi signals. Like when you use radar to detect stuff, but instead it's tracking how Wi-Fi waves bounce off people as they move around a room. Now the cool thing, or maybe not so cool, is that this tech isn't high resolution, like enough to spy on your face or what you look like. Instead, it mostly just tracks your body movements. However, another bunch of brainiacs at UC Santa Barbara found a way to see through walls using Wi-Fi. They actually used the Wi-Fi signals to figure out shapes of words on the other side of a wall. So let me get this straight. Wi-Fi signals can be used to track your movements through walls and even read the post-it notes on your fridge, but it can't detect your facial features? Well, if that's true, it certainly won't be for long. Okay, now back to Alexa. And number three is the AI screen. It's bedtime, you're all cozied up, and out of nowhere, Alexa decides to join in, not with a sweet lullaby, but with a bone-chilling scream. Exactly what happened to Farhad Majano and his wife, as he reported in a New York Times article. Now nobody asked for it, but Alexa's blue ring blinks on, signaling she's listening. Then, 
Without warning, she unleashes a horrifying whale enough to make anybody feel like they're stuck in a horror movie. When Amazon was asked to look into it, they were stumped. They hadn't heard of Alexa making that kind of scream. In fact, they didn't even think she could. Despite this fright fest, Manjo and his wife decided to keep Alexa around for her handy features, but let's be honest, who wouldn't be freaked out by an AI suddenly belting out horror screams in the dead of night? At number two, the laughter. So imagine you're chilling at home, maybe getting ready to sleep, and suddenly, Alexa, your friendly voice assistant, starts crackling out of the blue. No joke, just freaking you out. Like, on Twitter, somebody said that they didn't even know Alexa could laugh and yanked the whole Echo thing out of her wall. Another person got spooked in bed when their Echo Dot let out this super creepy laugh. They were all, yep, yeah, tonight's the night I get unalived. Can you imagine? It wasn't just a one-time thing either. This laugh-a-thon became a hot topic on Twitter on Reddit with people seriously bugging out. On Reddit, somebody shared how their Echo Dot randomly played this woman's laugh at 10 p.m. Not even the regular Alexa laugh, like a canned recorded one. People were so bugged out, they started unplugging their Alexa devices, hoping to stop the laughter. Amazon heard the cries and said that they were working on fixing it, so fingers crossed you won't have to hear Alexa cracking up randomly. At number one, learning all about you. Every time we talk to Alexa, Amazon learns a little bit more about us. Simple stuff like our music taste or what we buy online might seem harmless, but, what, but as it turns out, it's like a puzzle for them to completely figure us out. They can guess things about us like our tired moments or lonely moments or... Now some guy from Cambridge Analytica said that even our music and clothing choices spilled the beans on various aspects of our lives, even our political views. For example, ever bought Wrangler jeans? According to him, that may show you lean conservative. Now it sounds wild, but research says that our purchases reveal a ton about us, like our ethnicity and education with crazy accuracy. Now Amazon can use this info to play mind games with us. They can tweak what they show us based on what they know we'll like. They could even sell us our details to others who want to sell us stuff or sway our votes. And get this, they're always listening. Amazon might record even when we're not chatting with her. But it could be even worse if these things got hacked. If Amazon truly cared, they'd let us keep our talk to ourselves. But no, they're getting in on our heads, collecting data that could be used in ways we can't predict. Number 10, Elizabeth Bathory. Elizabeth Bathory was a countess from a prestigious noble family in Hungary. It is because of her noble blood and influential husband that her heinous crimes went unpunished for so long. Once her husband died in 1604, rumors circulated that young women and girls kept disappearing around the countess's many castles. Now, most of the victims were peasants and servants, but towards the end of her reign of terror, she made the mistake of kidnapping the daughters of lesser nobility, which is how she was eventually caught and tried for homicide. Elizabeth's trial lasted for several weeks and had hundreds of witnesses testifying against her. Now, eventually, Elizabeth confessed, and she and her four collaborators were convicted of tormenting and ending the lives of hundreds of girls. Elizabeth is called the Blood Count because she is rumored to have bathed in the blood of her victims, thinking that doing so would help preserve her youthful appearance. Now, after Elizabeth was convicted of her crimes, she was sentenced to a lifetime of house arrest. She was bricked into a series of small rooms in her castle, with just small slits for the passing of food and oxygen, where she remained for four years until her death in 1614. Number 9, Belle Gunness. Belle Gunness led a relatively normal life and until she was kicked in the stomach by a man in her teens, causing her to miscarry her first child. Her personality then changed drastically. In 1881, Belle immigrated to the US where she worked as a servant, got married, and had children. She then learned how to work the insurance system, taking out large policies on her family members and their place of business. Soon after the policies were in place, her daughters started dying of stomach issues and their businesses burned to the ground. Later, Belle's husband also died from intestinal distress, reportedly the one day of the year on which two of his life insurance policies overlapped. Shocker. Now Belle collected all the policy payouts and then remarried. Within a week of her second marriage, her husband's son from his previous marriage died while under Belle's care. Within a year, her second husband was dead from a mysterious head wound. Once again, Belle collected the insurance money and moved on. Eventually, it was determined that she had ended the life of most of her suitors and boyfriends, as well as her two daughters, and it suspected that she ended the lives of approximately 20 to 40 people, 
over a period of about 20 years. Now, Belle was never jailed for her crimes. She emptied her bank accounts and disappeared sometimes in the early 1900s. Number 8. Delphine LaLaurie Delphine LaLaurie was a serial slayer socialite who lived in New Orleans. On April 10, 1834, a fire broke out in her mansion's kitchen, and firefighters found a 70-year-old black woman chained to the stove. She appeared to start the fire in order to attract outside attention while Delphine was trying to save her furniture. The authorities were led by other slaves to the attic, and they were shocked. Disfigured and maimed slaves were chained to the walls or floors. Several had been subjects to medical experiments. As one man appeared to be part of some bizarre sex change, a woman was trapped in a small cage with her limbs broken and reset to look like a crab, and another woman with arms and legs removed and patches of her flesh sliced off in a circular motion to resemble a caterpillar. There were claims that an elderly man had his face so beaten it was indistinguishable, and that one woman had her back wounded to the point where her bones were visible. Now, some of these slaves had their mouths sewn shut and starved to death, others had their hands sewn to different body parts, and most were found dead, and the remaining that were alive were begging to die to be released from the unbearable pain. Now, unfortunately, Delphine and her husband fled by boat before she could be brought to justice. Number seven, Lacosta. Lacosta was basically a potions master who was very good at her job. She was able to brew up the most violent and deadly forms of poison in the whole of Rome, and what's worse is that people knew she did it, and she wasn't even punished for it because her skills were considered to be so valuable. She used them for her own gain and for her own personal pleasure, but she was also an instrument of government. In CE 54, she was hired by Agrippa, who wanted her to end the life of Emperor Claudius in order to take over the throne. The deal was made, Claudius was poisoned, and a year later, Emperor Nero saved her from being executed for her crimes as a traitor, but only so she could end the life of someone else for him. She successfully poisoned his stepbrother and was rewarded for her services by being given a villa so that she could teach students the ways of her work. She was considered to be the first female serial slayer, but unfortunately for her, a few years later her loyalties ran out and she was executed for her crimes. Number 6. Leopold II of Belgium Leopold II of Belgium was the second king of the Belgians from 1865 to 1909, and the founder and sole owner of the Congo Free State from 1885 to 1908. He disguised his work and made it seem humanitarian, whereas he had sinister motives and was using forced labor to move Congolese resources. Leopold II took ownership of Congo and treated it like his personal property, as he referred to himself as the Pro-Peter. An attempt to govern the people and their land, all sorts of inhumane and unthinkable methods were used. Sadly, Congo was looted and exploited for its natural resources, ivory and rubber. Leopold II was a brutal slave master, and by the time he was done with Congo, the country had lost a lot of its people. Otherwise known as the Butcher of the Congo, Leopold II constantly enslaved and exploited the people. The people were forced to work without pay, and he would amputate the hands of men, women, and the young when the quota for rubber was not met. Now, by the end of his rule, half the population was dead. Number five, Vlad the Impaler. Born in 1431, Vlad TPs the Impaler earned his nickname from his favorite method of execution for enemies of the state and witches. The idea was to simply create fear so that people would not want to rise against him. He literally impaled thousands of bodies on 10 feet high poles, regardless of whether they were dead or alive, to send a message along the lines of, don't mess with me. But yeah, that definitely would have worked on me. I would not want to cross him. His aim was to cause more psychological torment than anything else, as he would laugh and eat his meals while he made his enemies watch their fellow comrades get impaled and hear their screams. He would then leave the bodies of the defeated army there to rot. Number 4. Albert Fish Albert Fish ended the lives of many of the young and was suspected in at least five homicides. He was nicknamed the Boogeyman for his predatory behavior, and he abducted Grace Budd in 1928 and wrote this letter to her mother. It read, On Sunday, June the 3rd, 1928, I called on you at 406 West 15 Street brought you pot cheese, strawberries. Grace sat in my lap and kissed me. I made up my mind to 
her on the pretense of taking her to a party. You said yes, she could go. I took her to an empty house in Winchester I had already picked out. When we got there, I told her to remain outside. She picked wild flowers. I went upstairs and stripped all my clothes off. I knew if I did not, I would get her blood on them. Now, this letter is just haunting, and thankfully the court found him to be sane in order that he would be executed by the electric chair, but he was one messed up person. Number 3. Gils de Rays You may not have heard of Gils de Rays, but you will have heard of his best friend, Joan of Arc. When he retired from his military career, he was presumed to have dabbled in dark magic and the occult and the devil, but that's not all. Rays would command his servants to go out and kidnap boys and bring them back to his residence. He would dress them up in fine clothing and make them drink wine. When they refused, they were beaten. They were then taken to his torment chamber where they were gagged and hung up with rope. He would then take them down and declare that he wanted to play with them before either he or his servants would end their lives. Rays would sometimes sit on their stomach and laugh at them while they were gasping for air until they died. All the bodies and their clothes were incinerated and the remains were thrown into the moat. It's unclear as to how many victims he had, but it ranges from 80 to 600. Now, Rays was later executed for his crimes along with his servants by hanging. Number 2. Vincent Wangong Lee On July 30th, 2008, Tim McLean was stabbed, beheaded, and eaten while riding a Greyhound Canada bus along the Trans-Canada Highway. According to witnesses, Tim was sleeping with his headphones on when the man sitting next to him suddenly began stabbing him in the neck and chest. After the attack began, the bus driver pulled after the attack began, the bus driver pulled to the side of the road and he and all the other passengers fled the vehicle. The driver and two other men made an attempt to rescue Tim, but were chased away by Vincent, who slashed at them. Now Vincent ultimately decapitated. Decapitated Tom and displayed his severed head to those standing outside the bus, then returned to Tim's body and began severing other parts and consuming his flesh. Vincent's trial commenced on March 3rd, 2009, with him pleading not criminally responsible on account of mental disorder. In Vincent's mind, Tim was really a demon in disguise and an alien who needed to be destroyed. He'd also felt pressured to perform the attack by voices he believed were from God, and as you can tell here, he suffered from schizophrenia. Vincent was then remanded to a high security mental facility in Manitoba, where he was detained until his release on May 8th, 2015. And coming at number one is H. H. Holmes. H. H. Holmes was a con artist who liked to take the lives of people. Until his execution in 1896, he chose a career of crime including insurance fraud, swindling, check foraging, three to four illegal marriages, horse theft, and ending the lives of many. He claimed to have ended the lives of 27 people before he was arrested tried and executed. Now he constructed a hotel of horrors, later known as the Castle to target guests visiting the Windy City during the 1893 World's Fair. The first floor of the castle had several stores. The two upper levels contained Holmes' office and over 100 rooms that were used as living quarters. Now, some of these rooms were soundproof and contained gas lines so that Holmes could asphyxiate his guests whenever he felt like it. Throughout the building, there were trap doors, peepholes, stairways that led to nowhere, and chutes that led into the basement. Now, the basement was designed as Holmes' own lab, it had a dissecting table stretching rack and crematory. Sometimes he would send the bodies down the chute, dissect them, strip them of flesh, and sell them as human skeleton models to medical schools. In other cases, he would choose to cremate or place the bodies into pits of acid. He was discovered though for his crimes, and on May 7th, 1896, he was executed. Mm -hmm.